Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Not too far from my old stomping grounds. Had some friends text me and said they were annoyed with the snow trying to get to work today. But outside over central Pennsylvania, we had record highs on Sunday and only near 30 today. Could see some light snow showers on Tuesday, mainly a dusting up to maybe possibly a couple tenths of an inch. But that's high enough to possibly be our first measurable snowfall. And then look for highs only to make it into the 20s. So colder air is moving on in. So a one two punch. Here is what's outside right now. Lots of sunshine, but not much in the way of warmth. It's 29 degrees in York. Feels like it's 20 at this hour with that light breeze out of the west. News 8 Storm Team forecast off the Fawn Grove in southern York County. We only make it to the lower 30s today. We could still see some wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. The winds will die down tonight and then it will still be quite chilly. And we're going to start to see the clouds move in late tonight where the winds die off quickly and where skies are clear. Temperatures will drop to the teens where the clouds move a little faster. Temperatures will only drop to the lower 20s. And then as we head through tomorrow, I expect some sun shine in the morning and then as we pass noon we could see some light snow showers and then after seeing highs up into the upper 30s to near 40 degrees the winds will pick back up as another arctic cold front moves across the susquehanna valley here are the temperatures at the noon hour it is 28 degrees if you're watching us in lebanon 27 currently in sealands grove and bone chilling 21 right now in Lewistown. The winds, though, up to 20 miles per hour sustained in Harrisburg. Right now, 18 miles per hour sustained in Lancaster, 17 in Coatesville. Feels like it's 18 in Coatesville. Feels like it's 9 on bare skin in Lewistown. It's going to be even colder as we head through tomorrow. Here's a look at Super Doppler 8. You can see the skies are mostly clear. We did have some light uh, lake effect snow bands closer towards State College and mainly closer to 80. They'll stay there through the day today. There's the light snow that fell through southern portions and northern portions of Ohio. But it's this storm system right now moving through the Dakotas that will work its way across the Great Lakes. And attached to it is another strong cold front. And back behind that is frigid Arctic air that will move in here late tomorrow evening. So watch what happens here on the predictor. We got clear skies through the rest of the afternoon. And as we head into the evening hours, we'll start to see some clouds move in from the west. Cloud cover will be fairly thick through much of tomorrow. And then after the lunch, Shower, we have the chance for some light scattered snow showers. Not everybody will see the snow, but there is a decent chance for some light snow area wide. Then that cold front moves through tomorrow evening. Temperatures will drop down into the teens as we head into Wednesday morning and only rise into the mid to upper 20s for Wednesday afternoon. So look at all the models here that we show you. Just a possibility of a couple tenths of an inch of snow. Again, that's high enough for our first measurable snowfall. What's the biggest snowstorm during any farm show week? got to go back to 1996 where we had 19 inches. So we're only talking a few tenths of an inch of rain versus multiple <laughs> inches of rain. So or inches of snow. So lower 30s today, upper 30s tomorrow. And then as that cold front sweeps on by, notice the temperatures drop back down to the 20s. Some spots will be in the teens Wednesday morning. Highs though on Wednesday only making it to the upper 20s. Oh boy, it is chilly, chilly out there. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Ethan.